Hi everybody, welcome to a real quick review of Green Lantern Secret Origins. Um, basically this is the retelling of Hal Jor of the Hal Jordan Green Lantern. Um, the first version of Hal Jordan's origin story was, I believe, Emerald Dawn, I believe, or Emerald Night. One of the, it was a two-parter book which uh, came out right after the, uh, the Crisis series which uh, rebooted the DC Universe in the 1980s. Um, this book, really good, highly recommended. Um, the artwork by, uh, let me make sure I get everything right here, by Ivan Reyes, who did the, uh, the pen, who was the penciler, and O'Clure Albert, inker, and Randy Mayer, who did the colors, did an excellent job. I mean, the artwork in this book is just excellent. I mean, here, take a look. Yeah. Um, the story by Jeff Johns, Jeff, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I am terrible with names. You've probably seen it throughout many of my videos. Um, ex did an excellent job on the story. Um, if you were disappointed in the Green Lantern movie that came out a couple years ago, which uh, a lot of us were, uh, just read this book. I mean, it is, uh, it's perfect with that way for the Green Lantern. Like, it feels like you're kind of reading a movie. It's very entertaining. It keeps you going, and it's very interesting, you know, and they really captured the the parts were like especially like these are my favorite parts is when he's on uh i believe oa is the planet where the green lanterns have to where the like the head green lanterns are headquartered um i love seeing all the different lanterns and all their different powers and everything that's why i did my uh drawing of the green lantern corpse which was because i read this book also i did have that in my mind for a while but like i said great book highly recommend it um there's nothing really i could find wrong with it i mean there's nothing that really stood out to me and say ah that really you know that got on my nerves I think it was a really well well written book um so continuity wise in the beginning it's you know of course if you're gonna read any Green Lantern book you start out with this cuz uh, this starts out with like Hal Jordan he was the first human Green Lantern in the post-crisis continuity um, and continuity compared to other characters I would say read probably in between Superman, Man of Steel or whatever Superman origin story you're going to read and Batman Year One because they do mention, they don't mention anybody else but the only other superhero they mention in this book is Superman. Uh, they say that he just appeared in Metropolis so that's when this probably fits in within continuity. Um, I mentioned in one of my other videos that I am uh, attempting to read most of my favorite, you know, this is my favorite series that involve my favorite characters uh, the continuity, the entire post-crisis continuity up until they reboot the new 52. So I have the list written out on my computer. Um, so I will post that on any of my blogs or pages if uh, if you guys would like, if you guys want to follow along with that. I also did one for Marvel, which skips a lot more than I did with DC. And I also did one for Godzilla graphic novels and Star Wars graphic novels. So yeah, um, like I said, if you're a Green Lantern fan, uh, pick up this book if you're interested in starting to read Green Lantern. Again, pick up this book. Or if you're just a comic book fan in general, I'd read it. Yeah, you know, uh, didn't find anything wrong with it, and I found it to be a very entertaining and interesting book to read. So that's all for now. Um, pay attention to part two of my Green Lantern video, which hopefully for uh, the my Green Lantern corpse drawing, which will hopefully be coming out soon. And pay attention for other to other videos that are coming out. And uh, as always, if you like what you see, go ahead and uh, hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.